Hi, we are Steve and Deb from Northern Ohio, and we just picked up hole number 1360, Curiosity, yesterday. Looking for something with, with twin beds. Um, that was a requirement. We don't want to be climbing over each other. Quality built. There's a lot of trailers that are getting poor reputations, and we didn't want one of those. And uh, with the Land Cruiser, we were pretty limited into what size we could pull. So we didn't want slides. Fiberglass trailers just seemed to fit the bill. We looked at escape trailers. We had visited somebody with a casita. We didn't particularly want to go that route. Uh, the twin beds were what really sold us on this one. We came down and did a tour. Well, first of all, we uh, talked to some people in Ohio that had the trailer. We went over and visited them and spent quite a few hours going over, looking at things, and they were answering our questions and things like that for us. And then we made an appointment to come down here and uh, take a tour of the plant. And uh, we spent a lot of hours going back and forth and looking at everything. And uh, then finally we went ahead and placed an order for our trailer. Well, we're retired. So we've, uh, we've graduated from tent camping. Uh, when the kids got bigger, we started doing things with them and stopped camping for quite a few years. In 2017, we bought a Hiker Square Drop, small five by eight trailer. And we uh, started traveling around Ohio for the most part with that. We found a couple of groups that we'd like to go camping with. Uh, we are in our late, late 60s and Getting out in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom on really cold nights and having to lay down in bed to get dressed was kind of getting old. So that's why we decided to start looking for something a little bit more comfortable. I think I would, um, probably I think it all depends on your, kind of your lifestyle, what you want to do. If you, uh, your age group, um, I think that was a big difference for us to, in looking for a trailer was, you know, we're not getting any younger and we wanted something that was easy for us to get in and out. Um, I didn't want an outside bathroom anymore. Um, this way we haven't, you know, we've got the bathroom inside, we've got a uh, kitchen inside, we still will continue to cook outside, but uh, just, making things a little easier for us. And this way we can, you know, we can travel all over the place and know that, you know, we've got a, a nice dependable trailer that we can count on and, and have no problems with. So I guess that's probably the easiest answer. I think that uh, a lot of it, like she says, depends on what your lifestyle is and what your camping style is. There are people that love tent camping and going as lightweight as they can. There are people climbing on top of their vehicles in rooftop tents. There are people that have million dollar motor homes that sometimes never leave them. Um, it's where you fit in between. The, as far as learning about the trailer, I can't recommend anything higher than visiting an owner and talking to them. The uh, experience that they've already got rather than just looking at a trailer in the showroom, it, that was a wealth of information for us not only just their experience with Oliver, but their experience using their trailer and the community. The community with the Oliver Trailer Forum and Facebook groups is phenomenal. We had so many questions and the people, I know that they answered the same questions over and over again, but they were courteous, they were extremely helpful, encouraging. We couldn't have asked for a better support group. It's all a learning experience for us because we've never had anything with plumbing, HVAC, batteries, anything. So the learning curve is going to be fun. We are going to the rally in a few weeks and I'm sure that we're going to have a lot of different types of trailers and people to meet. So we're really looking forward to that. We named the trailer Curiosity and that was based on a couple that we follow on YouTube called From She to Me. She was doing a voiceover on one of their recent travels and she started it out with all of our journeys begin with curiosity. 
and then she had more to follow behind it, such as, what are we going to discover? What we will find? Where will we learn? What will we learn? And we stopped, played it back again. I looked at Deb and go, that's the name of our trailer. Curiosity, it just describes what we want to do. So after coming up with a name, I was trying to find some graphics for inspiration on what to put on the front of it. And uh, doing a Google search, I came across a company in Ireland, Curiosity Software Ireland. And I thought, well, that's pretty neat. I like that logo. Maybe I can do something with it. But on a whim, I wrote to them and asked if I could have permission to use their logo on the trailer, as long as we didn't use it for any commercial purposes, thoroughly expecting the answer to be no. And a couple days later, I got an email back from one of the marketing managers that not only did they give us permission, but they were enthusiastic about it. They're going to put us in our photos on their uh, website and they're going to put us in their social media so it was such a shock so we've got uh, banners being I mean uh, so we've got graphics being made for the front of it already and we should have those on in time for the rally. Mm -hmm. 